Alright, so I have another very easy redstone tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to make an alarm clock in Minecraft. They're really easy to make and they can be really effective in just creating a lot of noise when you have somebody or an intruder coming into an area that you didn't want them coming into and it should be able to alert you and create the alarm effect. And you can do this however you want. There's a lot of different applications you can use with an alarm, but this will just be a general application alarm and it's really easy. So let me go ahead and show you. So as I go in to this little temple-like room that I'm in, this one's obvious. This, just for um, the sake of the example, I made uh, this tripwire across here. So when you're doing your uh, trap, you want to make sure that your tripwire hooks are more hidden than this. And in this case, you can very easily see them, just, just so that you can see what I'm doing. But as I trip the tripwire, you can see that the alarm is now going crazy. And yeah, so now once somebody trips the tripwire, you'll be able to know that they're into your area and then you'll be able to catch them, hopefully. So here's what's going on behind the scenes. I'm going to turn this off in just a minute, but I just wanted you to see what's going on and how the noise is being made with the two note blocks. But let me go ahead and turn it off so we don't have all this noise. Oops. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get a note block or multiple note blocks. So in this case, I have two to make the noise. That's what makes the noise is the note blocks in Minecraft. The second thing you're going to want to do is create some sort of tripwire or pressure plate or something that's going to send the signal to make the alarm go off. So in this case I have the tripwires here. You can also use those uh, pressure plates. Um, all you need is you need to make sure that when the person steps on this trigger, this pressure plate or the, the tripwire, it's going to send a signal. So here we have, you can't really see it, but there's string lying on the ground and then I have my two trip hooks connected to the wall and you can make it a little bit more less obvious to see but in this case I have it here in, in plain view. These are the two blocks that the trip wires are connected to. You just need to have redstone right next to it so that when those trip wires or the pressure plate, so you can do this underground as well, you just need to have the redstone next to your pressure plate or trip wire so that when you trip the wire the redstone gets turned on. So looking at it from above you can see the bottom right that's the area where the redstone gets tripped. And then if you keep, if you look at the redstone going up to the two repeaters above, um, from this view, the two repeaters above, you can see that there is, the redstone will reach these repeaters, it'll only enter one of the repeaters, and it'll kind of do a, a loop. And I'll show you that in a minute, but just keep that in mind. And then while that's happening, to keep that loop going on um, above, you're going to need this right below us, the, right in the middle of the screen, there is a... Uh, piston that and you can see the redstone comes to the left comes up comes back to the right hits that repeater and then the repeater turns on the piston which will get rid of this guy right here and what that'll do is keep this signal from continuing through and it'll allow this loop right here to be created and I'm going to show you what that loop does Okay, so I'm sure you're confused right now about what this whole loop is actually doing and how it's created. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly explain that to you. Here you have your two repeaters, and actually let me re replace them down so you can know exactly what I did. I put one repeater in this direction. I'm not touching the uh, level, so you, know, you can move these around. I'm just going to keep it at the first level. Then I'm going to put another repeater in the opposite direction. So the signal should go around. It should go in this way, back in this way back in this and just kind of go around. Now, if a signal comes in, like for example, through the tripwire, this is what happens, nothing happens. We need the signal to keep going around. But in, in this case, since this is um, turned on for a while, as it comes back around, it just gets stuck. So now let me turn this back off and explain how we can fix this problem. If I were to turn this on and off very quickly, you can see that it gets a chance to keep going around. But if I were to leave this on, then th as th see how it turns on and off, turn on and off, on and off, on and off. Well, if this is left on, this is always on, which means it doesn't have that opportunity to go on, off, on, off, on, off in this pattern. So this is basically what we're doing 
in the model loop. So now that we understand how that loop occurs above, now we can understand why that piston is necessary to be there. Because as soon as that signal goes through, that signal, if it's not disconnected almost immediately after it triggers that loop to start, it won't actually continue its loop. So this piston will cut off the signal almost instantaneously as the signal reaches the loop above. And that'll keep that signal from turning off and then that loop can start. Once the signal is stuck in this loop here, then you have uh, signals coming on the right and on the left. And as they go up this little ladder that I've created, you have these two note blocks sitting right up here. And it doesn't really matter where you put your note blocks. I just wanted the note blocks to be close to the actual hall, so the hall that you're, we're walking through is right underneath here. You could actually have it set up so that instead of just having two note blocks, you have multiple note blocks spread out through your entire area. So you can have it set up so that you're tripping the alarm at the beginning or at the entrance of your place, and then you can actually have the alarm spread out everywhere so that it can be heard from long distances. So that if you're at the, let's say if you're at the, the far back end of this area, that you would still, you wouldn't be able to hear it if you were too far away. So if you wanted to be able to hear it in all locations, you could have a signal running all the way through and having this, you know, set up everywhere. The main thing is you just need to have one of these set up. And you can play around with this and um, make it however you want, but you just really need this piston right here, and you're gonna need the loop. Now that we know how it works, let's watch it happen right in front of us. I went ahead and rewired this, so instead of the uh, redstone just being right here, it actually goes around here and is connecting to my little tripwire that I put in front of me. That way, when I hit the trip wire, you'll actually see what's happening behind the scenes because when I'm tripping the wire in the tunnel, you can't actually see this all happen. So let's just watch and see how this actually works. It happens so quickly that you don't actually get a chance to, to see it actually happen systematically. But let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. You can see that as soon as the signal, like almost instantaneously, as soon as that signal reached this first repeater, this piston had already cut off the signal, which allowed it to, you know, do its little loop. And that's the whole main part of this. And you can use this application for a lot of different uh, redstone traps or uh, alarms or whatever it is you're creating. And we'll actually see it in some of my other redstone videos that I'll be making here right after this one. So that is basically all there is to this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to be making more redstone tutorials uh, after this one. So stay tuned to those new videos to come. Please subscribe, follow me on Twitter or on my Facebook page, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later.